Hey folks, my name is Mike. I'm one of the instructors at Blair Vadak Outdoor Centre. We're going to do what's called an M check. It's so called cool because we, it works in the letter of the M. So it starts down here, comes all the way up, then down here, all the way back up, and then down to here. So hence the name M check. I'm going to talk you through it. You can pause the video at any time if you want to go and check your own things on your bike as we go through this. So we're going to start right down the bottom of the M down here. First thing I'm going to check is this quick release. So the quick release should be pointing up the way or back the way, not forwards. And done up at the right tension, you should be able to flick it open with your thumb. And when you're doing this up, you should have to use the palm of your hand, give it a little bit of pressure, and it should leave a little mark on your hand which disappears really quickly, and that's in the right place. So next thing we're going to check if you've got um, disc brakes on this. Then you're going to check these rotors are okay and there's no dings or broken bits or crack bits in there make sure it's not got any buckles in it check the brake here itself make sure it's nice and fixed nice and tight to the frame and it's not wiggling around at all otherwise your brakes just aren't going to work from there next thing i'm going to check is the spokes on the wheel really quickly give the spokes a quick squeeze and make sure there's none of them are loose or broken if there's any loose or broken don't ride the bike because that wheel's not safe next thing is checking your tires so we're going to check the side wall of the tires and the rim of the wheel as we go around we're just going to give it a spin make sure there's no holes no um, tears or rips or really worn out parts on this all the way around the whole tire the other thing we check in is to make sure we've got good tread on the tire and do that on both sides from here we're also going to come up and check the uh, forks make sure there's no bits of oil on here that are just dribbling out and running out of here because your seals might have gone so you might need to get that checked out and then from there we're coming up into this area again check there's no oil make sure it's all moving nice and freely and the same up here when we come up to this bit a couple of checks we're going to do we're going to turn the bike sideways we're going to hold the front brake on put a hand around here just hold it nice and gently and we're just going to wiggle the bike backwards and forwards a little bit and what we're trying to do is feel for any movement or knocking in here. If there is any, get it checked because it might need tightened up a little bit. The other check we can do for this is if we lean the bike back and if we just let the wheel go, it should fall to one side or the other side. If you lean the bike slightly the other way, it should fall the other way. If it does that, that's a good sign. From there, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come along the bars and we're going to make sure the bars are twisting and swiveling all over the place so these are all nice and tight on it if there's any movement in there you need to tighten these up we're going to check the grips and make sure the grips don't twist and turn when you're holding onto them nice and tightly and we're going to check the bar end plugs to make sure there's a plug in there not a big hole plug in there again not a big hole check your brake levers and gear levers make sure they don't wiggle about and move and when you squeeze the levers, make sure they don't touch the bars themselves, the grips. There should be a little gap in there when the brakes squeeze. That's us come from the bottom of the M up to the first bit. So that's the first bit of it done. From here, we're then gonna come down to the second bit of the M, which is gonna come down to here. On the way down, we're just checking the frame, making sure there's no cracks or any major damage to the frame at all. And then we're going to come all the way down to the bottom here. We're going to give the pedals a quick spin, make sure they're turning okay. We're going to hold on to these cranks and we're going to give it a little wiggle back sideways and make sure there's not too much play in there, there's no movement or clunking in there as well. Give it a little spin, make sure that's freely turning. And we're going to check this bit to make sure that this bit here for your gears, your front neck, it's fixed nice and firmly to the frame. That doesn't wiggle about at all. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to have good gears at all. We're then going to come up to the third bit of the M, which is coming up this one. Again, check in the frame, make sure it's in good order. All the way up here, if you've got a quick release, same applies as to the front one. Make sure it's done up at the right tension. We're going to check the seat and make sure we're going to wiggle it that way. Make sure it's nice and fixed. And then we're going to wiggle it up and down the way and make sure there's no movement in that. If it twists, tighten this up. If it wiggles up and down, there's a couple of screws and bolts in there, you can tighten those up. Once we've done that, we're now looking at the fourth part of the M, which will come down this way. And again, checking the frame as we go. We're gonna check this rear mech, the gears, make sure that's all fixed nice and firmly and securely to the bike. 
make sure your gears are in good order. There's not lots, lots, lots of teeth missing in there and lots of dirt in there, clogging it all up, stopping your gears from working properly. Same as we did for the front wheel, we need to check this wheel now. Keep your spokes a little squeeze all the way around, make sure they're all good. If you're happy with that, check the rim, check the tyre wall, make sure there's no abrasions, there's no bits of wire sticking out, there's no holes in there and check you've got ample tread on there as well to give you good grip when you're on the bike. Check this one, make sure this one's done up the same as the front one is and again you're checking this brake and this rotor just to make sure they're all in good order as well. One of the last things we're going to check is we're going to check the brakes are actually working so we're going to push the bike forward and hold on to the front brake and the back wheel should come up and then we're going to pull the bike backwards and grab the, the rear brake and that should happen. Gives you an indicator that your brakes are working okay and then when we're actually on the bike we're going to check the gears are working okay as well. So that's a very quick basic check. If you find anything wrong, fix it, get it ready for when you can get back out on it again and as soon as you can get out there and ride your bike.